<laughs> Good afternoon guys, my name is Brandon and welcome to episode 8 of the Pile Trailer Rebuild series. So this is going to be a really fun episode. We're going to finish this trailer. So today we're going to be sandblasting, uh, we're going to be priming, we're going to be painting, we're going to be doing some disassembly, and we're going to be doing some reassembly. So the first thing that we got to do is we got to get this trailer prepped and we're going to start sandblasting it. So let's get going. Alright guys, so let me bring you in and I'll show you how this came out. Got all, everything's all sandblasted now and then I'll bring in and I'll show you uh, what I'm using for that little handy sandblaster. So there it is, I've had it for about a couple years. I don't remember how much I paid for it, it wasn't all that much and I filled that probably, I'm guessing maybe eight times probably max to do this whole trailer so real slick I wouldn't want to do a real big job with it but for something like this um, works really good and doesn't make too bad of a mess so now that we got the trailer all sandblasted and prepped and wiped down now we get to start putting on primer Lola you ready to do some painting see a bug did you get it you want to do some painting And now here comes the fun part, the paint. This is the part we've all been waiting for. It's been a day, the primers had a day to cure. I've just lightly scuffed over the fenders and now we're gonna start painting it. This is what I'm really looking forward to. All right guys, now that all the paint's on it, we ran into a major issue when I was painting this. So I'll show you the overall project and then I'm gonna bring in and I'll explain to you what happened uh, and why I had a problem. And it came out awesome. It's got a lot of shine, looks really good. So I'll give you a hint what happened. Let me bring you back to where you saw the majority of it. So, you notice how the trailer's in a little bit different spot than it was? Well, guess what happened? While I was painting it, the air hose got wrapped around the handle of the floor jack. And I don't know if you really noticed that well on this side, but right where that uh, jack stand is, I actually had a log propped up on top of the jack um, that was a very poor 
decision on my part because guess what happened? The trailer flipped off the jack stands and that was while the paint was wet and the entire trailer dropped onto the onto the onto the pavement. So uh, during all that of course I had to handle it and I got fingerprints all through the paint, uh, bent the fender and let's see I had to knock the fender back out. It was a little wave in through here. I banged that out. Uh, the tailgate got all dinged up. You can see how it's got some ripples right there. That's because the tailgate crashed into the into the pavement. Uh, some, some of the cross members had the paint scuffed, but it was a little extra work. Uh, but we got it all straightened out now. So, and that was a poor decision on my part to prop that up like that. And I and I knew better. But we're back to where we need to be. Let's start getting the axle in it. Let's start buttoning this thing up. We'll get the lights on it. We'll get the wiring on it. We're getting this thing done in this episode. So we're not let anything slow us down. But we're going to be safe. comes down from the hitch and splits to the left and right sides of the trailer and that little screw that you see is a self capping screw that's the ground and then it runs along this pipe around the cross member and then it makes a little loop in this piece right here so if you ever got to replace the tail light uh, or do anything to it you got a little bit of you got a little bit of slack that allows you to to repair it if you need to but and the other side's the exact same So I want this trailer to be as self-contained as possible. So that includes having a place to store straps, maybe a small tarp, or anything that you could possibly need if you're going to, you know, to hook onto the trailer and tow something, maybe even especially last minute. So I picked up a super inexpensive uh, small toolbox tote and I'm going to mount that to the front of the hitch and I'm going to do that by drilling some holes and then just tapping, tapping the holes uh, with a tap set and then just threading in some screws. So let's get going.
going to put a little bit of blue Loctite on it just so they don't work loose. Nothing says finished project quite like having to realize that you forgot to do something and having to grind off brand new paint. I wanted to put a tongue jack on this trailer, but amongst all of it, I got a little ahead of myself and painted the trailer before I got the tongue jack on. So I'm gonna grind off some of that paint right now and we're gonna weld on the tongue jack and then we're gonna repaint around the jack. So. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you hurry and you get excited. was pretty pretty straightforward just put the locking pin eh, it's hard to see right there but just snap that locking pin back in and the jack went right on it also has a uh, grease fitting on the top which is which is kind of nice back in episode 7 I told you that I was gonna do a little bit of a surprise for episode 8 well that's this part of it and pretty much with anything that I do I tried to add just a little something extra or something special so uh, the specialness to this is kind of the theme that we've been calling this uh, it started out as a pile uh, ironically and behind me over my shoulder here um, that is the pile <laughs> left over from this trailer so uh, this kind of has a little bit of significance to what we did here so with that being said, let's get going.
And there it is guys. I'm definitely not a painter, but you know what? I tried, so. And with but, that little detail, we are officially done with this pile trailer rebuild series. Let me bring you in and show you how it looks. It might need some new decking. I'm not sure. But wait till you see it. When it's done, you're not going to even recognize it. That's going to finish this series. I have to say I'm a little disappointed that it's over, but at the same point I'm glad it is too because it sure was a lot of work. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for giving me your time. Hopefully you guys picked up a few pointers along the way. And if this is something that you like, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And for you guys that are wondering why I painted this trailer white, that's coming up in a future episode. Thanks. See ya.